Hello and welcome to our webinar, Elastolan Means More. Before we go and have a deeper look on the topic of today, I would like to give you some technical information. You are muted just for the reasons that we want to avoid any background noises. Even if you just see yourself and the panelists, there are many more people in the line, so don't be worried, but they are just hidden due to privacy reasons. On the panel list, you see our colleague Lisa Künzler. She's here going to support you in case of any technical issues. So if something appears, just send a, send a chat message to her. Um, you will find this option at the right bottom of your screen. And please feel free to use the chat function as well in case any questions appear. They will be answered by Sascha Mattfeld. You see him also on the panel list. He is our team leader for TPU technical service and development. He tries to answer um, these questions during the meeting um, as far as possible, and we will pick up some of them out at the end. And I would like also to introduce our speakers of today. My name is Wiebke Speckels. I work for BSF years now with job and sales and product management. And as of today, I'm the segment manager for TPU injection molding applications within industrial. With me is Mark Ottens, also a well-experienced colleague with 10 years at BSF. He was part of our TPU sales team and is now the segment leader for TPU extrusion. And now let me give you a very brief overview of what is prepared for you today. We will start with an overview on thermoplastic polyurethane or shortly TPU and tell you why it's so different to other plastics. But it's not only the TPU itself that makes Elastolan so special. It's the complete Elastolan means more package. We will show you what is behind that. And then we start the creativity process with you by giving you a very small extract on possible applications before we invite you to think and create Elastolan together with us. Mark, I assume we do have some people in the line who followed our and Schwalbe's aerosane story at the virtual Farkuma or maybe on LinkedIn the last weeks. For those who did not, or maybe as a refresher, can you introduce the product shortly? Yes, for sure. So thank you, Wiebke, for the great introduction and also a warm welcome from my side to our today's webinar. Elastolan means more. So as mentioned by Wiebke, let's start off directly with one of our latest application highlights, the aerosane tube, the aerosane bicycles, bicycle tube. And um, I think uh, the aerosane bicycle tube should be well known by most of you from um, the launch of our customer Schwalbe. Um, the virtual trade fair, the FACUMA, uh, where we have presented the tube last year in October, or last but not least from our homepage or um, social media where we have posted the complete story of this tube. So today, let's only briefly um, recap what are the highlights of this tube, um, what makes this um, example so special that we have pointed out as introduction example for our today's webinar. So uh, the tube is made to 100% out of elastolan, so thermoplastic polyurethane, a very flexible and elastic material, also with a very low air permeability and uh, which stands really for an outstanding mechanical performance. And this is also transferred to the aerosane tube, which have a very good puncture and snake bike resistance and which leads to a really good breakdown resistance. The performance of the tube was so good that also the wall thickness could be reduced in comparison to common tubes. And with this um, and the um, outstanding resilience and damping behavior of thermoplastic polyurethane, you could also achieve a very good and excellent riding behavior. And this is something which is really breakthrough for tubes that you have um, these two um, properties combined in one tube. So the good riding behavior on the one hand and um, the excellent breakdown resistance on the other hand. In addition, the tube um, is easy to assemble and um, also in the case that you want to take a second tube with you it's um, something which could be done easily as uh, the tube do not need so much space and at the end in the case you have a breakdown it could easily um, be repaired by an adhesive tape and um, as soon as it's repaired you can move on cycling directly and at the end it's also recyclable due to the thermoplastic um, character. So finally, it's really an outstanding tube. But 
that's only one reason why we have pointed out as um, example for today as introduction example there's another reason and i think this is a reason which is much more important for me for me this is really an ideal example um, for elastolan means more and what this means um, we hope to answer you today during our webinar and um, also for the aerosane tube at the end of our presentation so now let's start off with a more detailed insight in thermoplastic polyurethane so what um, kind of material is it and um, yeah let's start off with this so thermoplastic polyurethane is a thermoplastic elastomer it's a block copolymer which could be formulated by the poly addition of diisocyanates with short and long term diodes but now don't worry at this point of my presentation i will not borrow you too much now with the chemistry of the material so let's focus more on the highlights the characteristics of this material so in general it's a very versatile material and this is related to the design freedom um, which is added um, to the material and which is based on the different possibilities how you can um, design and formulate the material um, and here you can use really a broad building kit uh, which is um, you know, starts off with the nature of the raw materials so the isocyanates and uh, polyols which could be used you can also add if needed additives which gives additional properties to the material then you can play with the mixing ratio of the material and last but not least also with the reaction conditions and the production process itself and all this leads really to a very versatile material at the end and a very good example for the versatility is the broad stiffness and shore hardness range of the material if you take a look into the market you can really find some plastic polyurethanes stains in the shore hardness range from 30 35 shore a up to 83 85 shore d the same with the stiffness so in the market, you can find very flexible um, thermoplastic polyurethane grades around um, 10 megapascal modulus. And um, you have also the possibility to reinforce thermoplastic polyurethane. And with the reinforcement, you can really achieve also modulus above 10,000 megapascal and even more. And here, the aerosin tube builds a very good example where you have really the combination of both, a very flexible tube material and a very stiff wave shaft. Um, but that's not all. That's only an example for the versatility. Now um, let's um, focus more on the properties of the material itself. So what are the key features of the material? And there are five main features I will point out here in my presentation. Uh, this plays often a role when you have to decide which material would be the right one for your application. And I think the most famous one is definitely the wear resistance of thermoplastic polyurethane. So thermoplastic polyurethane is really a very scratch and abrasion resistance material, which is mostly used in um, two application cases. The first one is shown on the left side with mining sieves where thermoplastic polyurethane is used in contact with abrasive media. Here in this case, really a um, a mixture on um, order of um, sand, water, and uh, stones and wood, uh, where the sieve have to be resistance against. And um, the second application case is really the protection of um, actual components against external abrasive uh, impacts. And here, for example, ski films would build um, an example where the ski is really coated or laminated with a thin um, protecting um, film out of thermoplastic polyurethane. In addition, thermoplastic polyurethane is also well known from the flexibility, elasticity, and this not only at room temperature or higher temperatures, um, also even at lowest temperatures, so minus 30, minus 40 degrees, thermoplastic polyurethane is still flexible and shows a very outstanding performance, so it's not getting brittle. And this is also confirmed by our um, customers from us, and uh, some of them already told us that they also have used thermoplastic polyurethane even at lower temperatures than this, so minus 50, minus 60 degrees, where it performs really well. The third um, key characteristic of thermoplastic polyurethane is definitely um, the excellent damping and resilience behavior. As mentioned at the beginning of my presentation, 
Here we can also um, show as reference the aerosane tubes, so um, bicycle tubes, where you really need, um, especially um, when you drive off-road, for example, downhill, as it's shown on the right picture, um, a very good damping and resilience behavior and the resistance against punctures. And this is done with thermoplastic pyrrhosane. Another example would be the noise and vibration damping for heavy duty railway lines, where um, railway pads will be made out of thermoplastic pyrrhosane. And last, also, thermoplastic polyurethane is very well known in the gasket and sealants industry, where you can um, achieve also very good compression sets. Um, last but not least, thermoplastic polyurethane is also well known for the good um, resistance against different media, especially different standard oils and greases, but also against special media like, for example, slurry, as you can see on the left picture, where we have an agriculture tube, which is made out of um, thermoplastic polyurethane and which must be resistance against slurry. Um, but not only the media resistance is important, also the resistance against environmental impacts. And also here, um, thermoplastic polyurethane um, is tough against. Uh, so this means um, it's really resistance against the different um, weather conditions, so rain, snow, ice, wind, but also um, against UV and ozone, it could be stabilized and is stable. And last, um, and finally, um, thermoplastic polyurethane is also known, especially in the automotive industry, in, for interior applications for the pleasant haptic, soft touch and feel. And this is not only the case in automotive applications, also as shown here in consumer applications, for example, for cable sheathings, plugs and uh, cell phone covers, but also in medical applications for non-wovens and wound dressings. But these are only some characteristics of thermoplastic polyurethane, I think the most important ones, there are a lot of additional properties so, um, which could be added to the material. Um, so um, at the end, the material could really be tailored to the individual applications with different properties. And that makes the material really interesting for you as um, um, users of the material. And um, for us, as uh, our ambition is really um, to tailor the material in this direction to your needs, to your requirements. And this is underlined by our broad portfolio, where we will give you now an overview what we can offer you. And let's start off with um, the standard grades. Uh, I think uh, the biggest group, the aromatic thermoplastic polyurethanes. Here we can offer you polyether based grades and polyester based grades. The polyether grades show a very good hydrolytical and micro persistence, low temperature flexibility, and where against the polyester grades have a very good um, abrasion resistance and uh, increased mechanical performance. In addition, to the aromatic grades, we also have aliphatic TPU grades in our portfolio. And uh, in comparison to the aromatic grades, this um, grades really have an UV, an excellent UV and color stability. And uh, with these grades, you can really um, apply glass clear applications. Um, also here we have ether and ester grades available. And if you now take a look on the series below, you can see different types of series. Each series stands for an individual um, yeah, raw material accumulation, which um, at the end um, leads to individual properties. A good example would be here a polyether series where we have the 12 series, which shows a very good transparency, the 1300 series, which shows a very good brazability, or the 1500 series, which has an outstanding performance. Besides this, we have many additional specialties in our portfolio, which were really customized um, solutions to the individual applications with an outstanding performance. Here, I would only highlight our frame retardant TPUs, where we have really for the individual frame retardant quick requirements and um, part designs, individual solutions available, and which were always tailored to the individual case. At the end of last year, we also launched our Elastolan N series, so a bio-based thermoplastic polyurethane. And um, 
Here is important that with this, um, the raw materials will be used um, as bio-based raw materials instead of fossil grades. And the performance of this grade would be completely identical to the fossil grades. And uh, the key feature here is that you can really pick out the molded or extruded part out of the market. And uh, here you can measure the bio-based carbon content in accordance to ASTM D6866. And um, here we can really um, achieve bio-based shares above 50% percent with the polyether grades which were already commercialized and in the launch we have also the polyester based grades so um, really in highlight which is new and last but not least the portfolio will be rounded by our master batch offerings where we have um, functional additives processing agents and color mastered batches in our portfolio which were based on thermoplastic polyurethane oh mark so this was already a lot of information presenting so many opportunities. Let's assume here is someone in the line who wants to work with TPU, but needs help to find the best type of material for his or her application. Who is there to give guidance on that? Thank you, Wiebke. Yes, that's an important point we have to point out in our webinar too. So Elastolan means also globability, and um, this means that we have around the world really production and R&D sites with experts from sales, from tech service and development, um, application engineers, also marketing um, responsibility peoples, and also, last but not least, also R&D colleagues. And they all together have several decades of experience in thermoplastic resins and can really support you in selecting um, and developing the right material solution. But that's not all. At the end, um, they will not help you to find the right solution. They will really support you along the complete development process and also thereafter. Yeah? So our ambition is really to build up strong partnerships with you as our customers um, and long-term relationships. And this is, uh, for example, a very good reference uh, here would be the live talk we have done with the company Schwalbe for the AeroSynth tube, where we really can get an impression how this uh, could be built up and how such a partnership look. Um, but that's not all. Uh, so um, in most cases, if you collaborate, you have a joint target. And mostly this is an innovative product, an innovative application. And here we really can um, offer you the three different uh, types of innovation. So continuously working on complete new thermoplastic polyurethane formulations, but um, especially also on tailored product developments um, where the thermoplastic polyurethane will really be designed um, in direction um, to your individual requirements and last but not least also for new applications where you may be thinking that uh, thermoplastic polyurethane might be the right solution we will supporting you in selecting and modifying the material in the right way that it could be processed and designed for your application and last but not least, um, for the um, development of such a product, you need also many resources and services. And here we can also support you, for example, with our technical application centers, which uh, we have in each region globally. And here, um, many of our projects starts off and uh, we invite really you as our customers uh, to visit us in our um, technical samples maybe together with your tools uh, which could be adapted um, on the different um, technologies and where we can do together the prototyping material testing and um, also process trainings and product workshops if it's requested um, at the end this is really the herd um, where all or most of our development starts off. Um, also, the aerosane tube was born in our technical labs on this blow film line, which is shown um, on the left side uh, on the picture below, where first prototypes of the tubes were done. Besides this line, we have several other processing technologies in our technical labs, starting off with different extrusion lines for tubes, profiles, cable seatings, and also multi-layer film extrusion applications. Besides the extrusion applications, we also have some injection molding machines in our technical lab uh, with different closing forces from dis different manufacturers and also um, suite able for one and two component processing. 
and everything is rounded now new with a lab calendar we also have. Besides material development and processing, we can offer, offer you the material testing where we have really, um, I would say, most standard tests of chemical, mechanical and physical tests available, which could be done internally. And in the case, if this is not working, maybe an external uh, or a special test is needed, then we can really um, draw back on external um, resources and testing institutes which were in the broad um, BS net, uh, BSF network available. But at the end, that's not all. Yeah? So um, it's not only the development of the product, at the end it must also be produced. And here we can really um, um, count back on our um, experienced production team and special production technology uh, where we can really um, produce um, high performance uh, products, um, high performing products in a very reliable quality. So this means a very good lot to lot consistency. And what makes our production technology so special? Um, I would say the state of the art um, process is the reaction extrusion process, which is um, typically used um, where you have some different kinds of um, uh, raw materials which will be bring ink to the extrusion um, process and at the end you will get a granulate and um, the other way how um, we also produce thermoplastic procene is the belt process so an erection tunnel where you get um, your um, reaction um, formulation on a belt and uh, the difference between these two processing technologies is the residence time so with a um, reaction process um, you will have a much shorter um, residence time then on the reaction tunnel and you can imagine that um, at the end um, the properties will be much different if you use the material with one and the same formulation from the reaction extruder or from the reaction tunnel but in today's times that's not all yeah you always also have to think on environmental impacts when you're thinking on a uh, product development or um, on production of a new product or an existing product and uh, Wiebke I think you are uh, getting more and more an expert in sustainability topics so maybe you can give us an overview where we are working on Yes, I can do that. Um, sustainability itself is such a broad field. And so today we can only highlight some of the important aspects, but nevertheless, we do that. So I think it's an important information for you that BSF is currently calculating the product carbon footprint of each of their products. So not just the TPU, but also considering our complete TPU portfolio, where you will get transparency on the CO2 emissions in the course of this year. So um, helps to increase the transparency for your decisions as well as for ours. Then the second thing you might already heard on the chem cycling, a chemical recycling process using low value plastic waste or old tires to produce pyrolysis oil, which will be used in our steam cracker afterwards. This will of course increase the recycled content in our products. Or if bio content is requested, there are two options available. Sela Tulan N series already mentioned by Mark a few slides before, or biomass balance. Um, Elast Tulan N means really having a dead detectable bio content by replacing parts of the recipe with bio products. And on the other hand, you can get a 100% bio-based solution by the biomass balance approach. But as with chem cycling, it's a mass balance approach must be known. So a certified mathematic way, but nevertheless, it's already well known for most of you, by the way, we um, allocate green power as well, for example. Um, and I think also mentionable and important is that also the end of life solution is somehow intrinsic given as TPU is fully recyclable. But before we talk about the end, Let's talk about the use phase. Mark, shall we show some application examples now? Yes. So let's move through some additional application insights, which underlines what Elastolan means more mean. And let's start off with an example out of the automotive industry. Uh, which is focusing on e-mobility where we are talking about um, the electrical vehicle uh, charging cables where the sheathing is made out of elastolan and for me 
this is really a perfect example where you can see how we tailor products um, as here also flame retardant properties plays and role and you have several different cable designs in the market available which were mostly customer specific or application specific and um, each cable must fulfill um, the different regional and global standards and also the OEM uh, specific requirements and um, as it's um, something which also must be flame retardant you always need an individual solution for the individual cable design and that's exactly what we do so we have here several solutions available where you have really a good balance between the uh, performance on the one hand and the flame retardant properties on the other hand and which really fulfills all the requirements which were requested another example is out of our tubes and hoses business here we have really an one of our latest innovations it's an elastolan 5098 a10 fc and real rounder which is based on a customer request uh, which exists um, over several years um, where the wish was um, to combine really the properties um, of an ether with the performance of an ester and that's exactly what we did here so um, the elastolan 5098 a10 fc is an ether based material so a very microbe resistance uh, cold flexibility and also um, uh, hydrolytical stable material which have the performance as you can see on the graphic below um, of an ester especially at elevated temperatures and here you can see that the burst pressure is above or c98 a10 which was um, the normal common ester grade which is used for pneumatic tubes and last but not least as the launch was closed uh, to the one of the aerosane tube many people ask me if this is a material which is used in the aerosane tube application and i can say at this point this is definitely not the material which is used for bicycle tubes so let's move on to another application which shows uh, where typically uh, our aliphatic tpus will be used and this is especially for surface protection films the case um, where you need on the one hand very good optical uh, properties so a clear mostly clear and transparent um, material which is still flexible and tough enough uh, that it is resistance against the different impacts and really protect um, the actual part so the the car the coating of the car or the coating of the um, rotor blade for example um, as mentioned during the presentation of our portfolio we also have food contact grades in our um, portfolio and here conveyor belts would be one of the best examples um, where we can demonstrate um, that we have this grades in our portfolio as conveyor belts often transport food and food related um, uh, products and if we are talking about food contact grades we can really offer you ether and ester based grades and um, these grades would be sweet able for europe um, food contact regulated and or fda regulated markets and all these products will be produced uh, in accordance to the strict rules um, of uh, the good manufacturing practice so um, really something where we take care how these grades will be produced and still with an out of, uh, out um, standing performance another example would be our elastostat an anti-static master batch which have really an excellent performance this means um, a permanent effect with focus on the anti-static properties which is also humidity independent which is um, approved also for fda and eu regulated markets it's colorless and uh, the key feature here is that this material is based on thermoplastic polyurethane, but could not only be used in tpu also in other polymers and there the effect will be the same and also the processing and handling will not be an issue as you can see on the film on the, on the left side where you really have a very homogeneous quality and at the end we will close the application insights really with a multifaceted application where many parts were out of elastolan and i think here as many things were injection molded um Wiebke could give you a very brief overview what is possible.
Yes, I can do that because I really like that example um, of injection molded parts because you see here so many different TPU types and just let's highlight two of them. The one is the R series, the other one the 11 series. The R stands for reinforced material, so in this case glass reinforced TPU and which is by the way all the, also UL listed important for some applications you might have in your mind. The material is chosen due to the fact that it offers a very good adhesion to the cable jacket. In this case, quite easy because it's also TPU, but PVC would work also quite well. Both types have a really good media resistance and besides the rarity, there is a second reason why I do like this part. It shows that TPU can produce really, really small parts, a good indicator for the excellent processability in the injection molding process of our materials. But Mark, I think time is almost over and we should um, really sum up the idea of elastolan means more. Oh, would be and um, yeah so this is um, at the end I don't know maybe it was a technical issue so sorry for that so I will repeat it as I was on mute so the aerosane tube um, is really an ideal example for elastolan means more as this really shows not only an innovative product uh, an innovative application for thermoplastic but we say no uh, in addition it shows really how we collaborate with our customers um, and um, that we really were interested in long-term relationships long-term strong partnerships and uh, that we really support our customers along the complete development process and also thereafter and this is what elastolan means more mean and this is the reason why the aerosane tube is an ideal example. And now we, uh, um, I think it's now the turn of our um, auditors. Um, yes, of course, because we are just looking forward to realize your Elastolan means more projects with you. As you have seen in the last minute, there is plenty of opportunities as TPU is such a versity material. And we, together with our colleagues in sales and TD, are curious to become your partner of choice and to realize them. Um, before we close, let us see if there are some questions in the chat. Um, let's start with that one. I think it's a fair question, Mark. You mentioned the coal flexibility. What is about the highest possibility temperature? Yeah. Okay, it's a good question and it's um, always depending on the individual conditions. Yeah, so um, how the temperature resistance is measured and um, what are the conditions around. But in general, we recommend thermoplastic polyurethane in a temperature range from minus 40 to 100 or 125 degrees. But for example, um, with focus on the aging of the material under um, temperature, we currently also have some new grades in our portfolio, which also um, shows an improved aging behavior, uh, which is uh, sweet able for class D applications to 150 degrees, 3000 hours in automotive. Okay. And then I found another one or some other ones. It looks like our technical application center is quite of interest. Um, in case someone wants to book it, is that rentable? No, it's not rentable. It's part of our collaboration. Yeah. So if you are interested in a collaboration with us and a joint product development, um, this is really included in our services. Okay, good to know that. And I think the last question we should use to look into the future. Are there further innovations on their way? Definitely. We always have, um, as we are offering tailored products, many uh, products in the pipeline. And um, one of the next innovations would definitely be our bio-based ether grades, which were already in the launch and will be, um, yeah, be available shortly. Thank you. I think we can go ahead with questions still sometimes. There are still some on the list, but due to the fact we are already behind the schedule, you see there are so many things we want to tell you upon these materials. Um, we stop here with these questions. 
Sasha really tried his best to answer all of them. Um, I'm not quite sure if he really succeed. If not, if this was not yet possible for him, we will come back to you and answer this question afterwards. Um, in case you have further questions and want to contact us, you can do that directly, send a mail to Mark or me, and in a second you will hopefully also see our contact information. Or you can contact our Elastolan info point, so um, one general email where you will get um, some colleagues that will forward these uh, mails directly to the right uh, contact person in sales or technical that will help you. And just some last remarks. Lisa just started a poll and we would be really happy to receive your feedback on the today's session and also on might some upcoming. So if you did not answer the three, three questions on the right side, it would be really great if you take a minute to do so. And then as the last, very, very last information, you will receive a mail from us in the next days, including the slides we presented today, as well as a link to this webinar in English. And we will also have that in the German language available for you. And now it's for us just time to thank you for your time, for joining our Elastolan means more webinar. Have a good day and stay healthy.